All right. Now we're starting to get in the back half. This is wrapping the harder ones, at least the ones I thought were harder. We'll see how it goes. Number eight. You thought this one was hard? You thought that was hard? <laughs> Depends. Come on, just flip it. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. It depends on if you would gotten the theme by that point or not. See, to me, that one is very much about the voice line. The train horn, to me, does not stand out in game. That one is all about the voice line. I That's a, that's a blowing into a freaking reindeer horn or something. <laughs> that's what I hear when I hear Rally. Yeah, see, to me, it's just that one, that one very much hides behind the voice line. That's why I thought that one could be difficult. Uh, let's keep it going. Sound, uh, sound number nine. I love the way that one ends. Mm -hmm. Billy's locked in. Ray. Yep. All right, turn him over. What do you got? Both are correct. That is, in fact, Tech Visor. Yes, sir. See, I look, see, I got these backwards. See, now I thought that one with no guns in it could also be tricky. <laughs> All right. Your final question for double points. I'd say it's impossible, but y'all y'all got good. Y'all got good. Maybe I should have maybe I should have thrown in more tricky ones here on you. But for double points, at least Chef Billy might be able to catch up. Let's see. So, sound number 10. Oh, that's a good one. I'm impressed. I'm impressed you put that one on there. Oh, oh. Billy, you locked or you thinking still? That looks like it a thinking like a face. Tell me if I get this wrong after what I just said. <laughs> right? <laughs> go, go, go again. I love the way that one ends. Yeah. Sound, I'm telling you, sound design is just so crisp. It's so beautiful. Ray going for a 9 out of 10 on this final question. That has to be the highest percentage we've had on any game show here on Friday Night Overwatch, if you get this right. Give Billy a moment. All right, moment's up. Come on. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? First instinct. Trust your gut, my friend. Trust your gut. One more time. All right, one more time. Spell. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. You can just tell me if you really need to. All right, we're locked in. Flip them over. What do we got for our final answer? You are both correct. Absolutely. Uh. That is Ant Matrix. Very nice. Very nice. Ray, I, wow. Nine out of 10 I tip tonight. My hat. I tip uh, yeah, my hat. I got to tip my head as well. <laughs> All right, well done. Well done, friends. Well done. All right, that was fun. That was good fun. That was good fun. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, playing along with me and stuff and, and let me do my, my silly little game. Uh, I hope you the all enjoyed it out there as is, well. I don't think I would have gotten coalescence with another three guesses is the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That one is very odd sounding. It did not sound yeah, I did, like Yeah, I right. did not expect that to sound that way. Well, that one... That one doesn't have much of a voice line on it either, too. So the, the, even that noise is pretty prominent while Moira is activating it. You know, it doesn't it doesn't hide behind the voice line like some others, but still, it's so weird. It's hard to place. All right. Well, that doesn't hurt us. Let's get to talk about our team sex. We got a fantastic match lined up for you tonight. Like I said, we are knee deep in playoffs. We're in the winner's bracket finals here in our NA Masters division for tonight's matchup. We've got Galactica taking on Simp Nation, and it's, this one kind of struck a chord with Billy and myself in particular because uh, we're looking at Simp Nation and realizing, man, this team goes all the way back to MTT, I mean, two to seven, Billy. I mean, that's when I was competing. So like, I grew up in this, in this iron environment uh, playing with some of these players or, you know, watching scrims or competing in scrims against some of these players. Uh, looks like Pubel. Uh, might be Poob for uh, 
for Simp Nation. If that is the case, uh, their DPS is absolutely gross. And Dave, Danny DePito, all kinds of hell. All kinds of hell. Oh my goodness, I haven't heard the name Danny DeFito in, in a couple of years. Uh, I hope Burr and that, that everybody from that team is doing well, doing well. Ray, what, what are your first instincts uh, when you, you know, saw this matchup on our build tonight? Look, I think this is going to be an interesting match. This is the winner's finals for the NA Masters. It was a smaller division, so only four teams made playoffs. So round two already brings you to this point. But sip nation man they are undefeated this season and when i even took more of a microscopic look at it they've only dropped three maps this season so they are on a freaking roll right now like they they are just dominating galactica is coming off an upset win technically over ye and nera who was one win better than them on the season they ended up winning in a three two banger uh so now they get to come up against what is definitely the big dog of the na masters division Oh, speaking of, why don't we just go ahead and pull up that bracket and take a look at where we sit here in this NA Masters division. Up top, there it is. You can see Galacta with that 3-2 upset. Uh, they're in the middle. And Sip Nation with a 3-0. Well, uh, what's, what are our thoughts here? Who's Is Sip Nation the favorites throughout this whole bracket? I think it should be. Uh, I think Anenra uh, is a very good team in the, the in, 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 of their own right. But I think that all roads do lead through Simp Nation, if I'm being completely honest with you. I mean, only dropping three maps across the entire season, that is damn near unheard of. I mean, it's almost Golden Stage worthy. Uh, they have not dropped a, a game. Uh, I'm sorry, they've only dropped one game across three or what, the eight weeks plus the midseason madness. So, I mean, this is fantastic work for them. We'll see how they, uh, how they actually line up against Galactica. Galactica does have options. I mean, they do have... Uh, they do have some, uh, some firepower to them. So I think that, you know, while this should be a pretty comprehensive result, I would not be surprised, uh, if Anenra or if, if Galactica, uh, does give Simp Nation a little room for pause. What are your thoughts, Ray? Uh, is Simp Nation the team to beat and is Galactica the one to do it? I feel like you have to put them as the team to beat until someone actually does it. Galactica did play Simp Nation in week eight, which is the final game of the regular season. Simp Nation did win 3-1. So this is one of the teams. This is one of those three maps they dropped was to Galactica. So you have to keep that in mind as we progress. And Galactica has been getting better. I've been kind of taking a closer look at how this division has gone from midseason to now. Midseason, Sip Nation didn't even enter the midseason playoffs. They let other teams enter because a bunch of their players were busy and stuff like that. So uh, what ended up happening was Anera played Galactica in the grand finals of the midseason, and Anera actually won that match. So Galactica gets their revenge in the playoffs, and they've taken a map off Sip Nation. So I feel like maybe there's a chance there. Sounds like Galactica is certainly on the upswing, and I mean, they, they were already starting off at a pretty good position, so if they're moving up from there, maybe they can. Maybe they can actually threaten, threaten Sip Nation here tonight. Let's take a look at who Galactica is bringing to the battlefield, start things off. Let's take a look at that starting five uh, and, and get an idea of the players. We'll see. We're looking at the, the sheet, and there's right here in the middle. This really stood out to me, y'all. Redemption talked about the Wrecking Ball as, as a favorite hero. Is this, could this shake things up? Is this the meta for Galactica to pull off this upset? I mean, if we take last night, what we saw during during Collegiate, Jeff, we know that ball can be viable as long as you have the right personnel uh, to go in and get the cleanup. Uh, ball can create all kinds of havoc. Uh, so I think with the, with the patch changes, uh, making him a lot more viable, uh, using that grapple feature now and the recall where you get to basically retract yourself uh, to your grapple point, Yes. We saw that happen a couple times with, with uh, Ben Shark or Ben the Shark <laughs> last night, <laughs> especially. Uh, it, it was impressive because I had not seen that high level of play with the wrecking ball changes. We saw how he was able to evade uh, a lot of incoming fire and really force a lot of cooldowns out of the enemy team. So if Redemption has any kind of a skill set just like that, this could be very interesting for them to go. But they have to have the right personnel to keep that ball viable. 
Uh, and in case you missed the patch notes, what we're talking about here is some pretty fundamental changes to Wrecking Ball. You can relaunch your grapple within one second uh, if your ball does not enter the fireball form. And that was one thing we saw used a lot in that collegiate match that Billy was referring to last night, was using these quick little double hooks to kind of maneuver around the map. And it was it was really cool, y'all. And then you can use the retractable grapple to kind of launch yourself. There's new tech with that as well. So there is a lot of new, I think, undiscovered country. Um, as far as Wrecking Ball is concerned. But you know what? Let's flip it on over, take a look at Sip Nation. Uh, Ray, why don't the, who's a standout for you here? Who should we keep an eye on? I mean, just hearing you guys talk before and during this, feels like Poob has to be one of the standouts, just how nasty this DPS line could possibly be. But I've also seen a lot out of Pixie on this tank, uh, just watching the games uh, on, on Twitch, like all of you are doing right now. Pixie has been quite the tank hero for Simp Nation, so I feel like those are the biggest two to be looking at on this roster. But I mean, there's a reason they've only dropped three maps all season, just from player to player they are fantastic yeah and i know renair is another name that i remember from mtt7 mm -hmm. from casting back in 2020 uh it's just just a name that stands out it's a name i remember so i mean clearly they were doing something good if here we are four years later and i'm like yeah i recognize that dps player uh billy any anything uh any thoughts on simp nation on this roster we see before so anybody catches your eye anything you want to uh, elaborate I... on the people we've already talked about I mean, Poob, uh, obviously scary. Uh, Mr. White, uh, if I remember correctly, was voted an all-star a couple seasons ago. I'd have to go back and check my notes, but I think uh, MTT 10 or 11, uh, they were uh, they were put in as an all-star, at least were on the voting form. Uh, Lizbeth is somebody that uh, is, on the sub, is on the sub bench, but I have seen them play uh, throughout the years. God, I can't believe I'm saying that throughout the years, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting freaking old. Uh, also, Moosey, their cap or their manager, their head coach. Uh, I Moosey on Twitter. Uh, one of mainstay uh, in the CGL for eons, uh, just like us. And, and I mean, this is great to a to a coaching role. Uh, a really good mind, uh, kind of up there, like with uh, what we see from Ocean, Jeff. A, a really analytical, high understanding of the game. Uh, could tell you every cooldown, every counter to the cooldown, and everything, uh, why they're sure. doing it. Uh, uh, that's the kind of coach exactly. that Moose is, so um, I love it. Uh, I'm going to see. Uh, Fatty is the unknown to me, uh, just like Ray. I kind of, you know, I pick up, you know, every once in a while when I'm not busy or, you know, when we're going to get out of the cast going on. You know this, Jeff. I'll, I'll watch other, other competitions going on just to see how our casters are doing or, you know, how the games are going, how the playoffs are going. And I mean, but. Fatty, I've not seen uh, yet, but Pixie, I've seen a couple of times personally, you know, just a pre uh, glimpse here and there does like to command space and will not take no for an answer. That's what I think I like so much about Pixie is has the Reinhardt mindset uh, with the Sigma kind of uh, hold back. They're, they're very patient in their, in their aggression. I love that analogy, the kind of a Reinhardt mindset, like wrapped in a Sigma. I, I could very much mm -hmm. see that, I, you know, played, I played 300 some odd hours of ride by some. Ray, right, you know what we're talking about. You're not a log. Or you're you, you the one who was like, hey, if I didn't get Earth Shatter right, my team would be mad. So, like, you know what we're talking about here, though? It's that, uh, I mean, commanding space and careful approach, but also just kind of not afraid to throw your body out there is also part of one of your resources. I mean, your health pool uh, is a big resource, and it's something that's more difficult to do with Sigma, uh, but if you can master that, and of course the cooldown usage with it, yeah, can make problems for any opponent uh, in the Phantom Map Control you can get. Well, with that, uh, let's let's bring up our Preds. I mean, I think we kind of got a sense of the way we're leaning here tonight. Uh, and as always, I play by the dice and I honor my dice. And guess what? My dice are even giving this one a sip nation, y'all. 3-1 uh, to Ray. You're sharing this one here with me. Sorry, our Pred bars. We only got three here tonight. Like, there's Kunwich is going on. So big props to uh, Headrammer and all that going on. So, But it does leave us with only three Death members. Anyway.
anyway, with that said, Ray, uh, 3-1, Billy a 3-0. Thoughts here? Ray, why are you giving uh, Galactica a map? What's, what's the thoughts I, on that? I mean, I, I like the improvement I've seen from them since the midseason, and they did just recently play two weeks ago, and that was a 3-1 in favor of Simp Nation. So I definitely think Galactica has the ability to take a map off of them, but I, I don't see Simp Nation giving them more than a map. Billy, you didn't even give him that much. I think Simp Nation's got this one clean. I mean, when you can skip a mid-season tournament and just say, we're too busy, we'll go ahead and take our chances in the in the postseason when it really matters. Uh, I, I just think that there's too much firepower, and it's, especially now that I know that there's N7 players on this team. The pedigree is there. The time in league is there. Even though they're coming back for the first time since MTT7, it's just like riding a bike. And I mean, this season proves that when you understand overwatch at a high level and i think that this is the the this division has always been the most volatile uh for growth or decline you'll either see a team you know work their season in masters tier uh or what used to be uh tier four uh and then they would explode into tier five and to just start running um or you know they, they they hit a wall or the meta doesn't suit them and you see them drop down to you know the flat uh tier or the diamond tier or tier three as it used to be. Uh, so this is this was always what I called the moving house. This was the this was moving day uh, for the season for this tier. So I, I would not be surprised to see them move up to GM tier if they if they completely sweep this uh, tournament out. They need to go to G GM tier next year or next season. Uh, so that's why I, I think that there's just they're just a little bit more uh, in tune with what's going on. The one caveat I will put out there though, the one caveat is if this ball player can't, if Redemption can play the Wrecking Ball, uh, according to the new rules, <laughs> new rule, new rule, um, ah. then they're, I, I will I will grant them a map, but I still I will still stick by my 3-0. Well, it's, it, this is a pivotal game. Uh, are we going to see Sip Nation rise up, perhaps repel themselves all the way up at the GM tiers? This, are we seeing the meteoric rise of Sip Nation? Or are we going to watch an upset here tonight? Let's get our caster preds on the board before we throw it over to him. We got Hunter Tate and so and I'm anxiously chomping at the bit at the uh, in the booth, ready to get this one started. And look at that. Hunter's giving this one a 3-2, and I can respect it, especially with the improvement that you were talking about, Ray. The last match between these two, Gal Galactica was able to take a map off. Uh, so if Adam is going to go ahead and stick with that 3-1, like my dice like ray and well like that result in week eight so pretty solid bet all around but as it stands all five preds favoring sip nation tonight let's toss it on over to hunter tate and so i've done and get this match going let's see if those preds hold up Well, I'm uh, her hoping, uh, <laughs> sure hoping that they do end up holding up because uh, I remember the last time that all five of us went for a prediction yeah. that uh, didn't quite go so well. But I'm hoping this can be a little different here today. As uh, Dono, as they kind of have brought up, this is a match that really is like a definitive factor when we look at a team like Sub Nation, who has not dropped a single game this entire season, but dropped one map to these guys. The question is, can they not only replicate that? but then do it twice over. It's well, I mean, Hunter, like, maybe, but the question mark on the simp side is, obviously, you're going to remember the one loss you get, right? Like, you're not letting that slide. If you're coming in, you know, going undefeated and making a statement like that, you're going to train extra harder because they, they stab you. They took they made you bleed. You're going to remember that. So I have to imagine Simp Nation is, is, is here for blood, quite honestly, but... I don't know. I, I'm I actually kind of. We were talking about this before. Galactica looks really good. Like they came off. Yeah, the previous win was a was a five mapper, but they punched up, and it's very likely they could do it again. So I really do want to see if they can carry that magic into this next week. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna see if they're gonna be able to. But as we kind of get into things, we do know our first map, which is of course the selection of Sip Nation. They're gonna be taking us over to Nepal, which last time these teams faced up each other, which was about three weeks ago. It was taken to Nepal and Sub Nation ended up winning both of the first two points, took that thing in a 2-0 fashion. So have the confidence, going to take them there again and hoping to replicate the same exact thing because it's one thing if you look further down, you know, way back in the past and like, ah, we won this map against them, we'll pick it. This was three weeks ago. I don't think there were enough of a big shift in the meta to warrant giving this yeah. any other thought, honestly. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Like, we did get some shifts. We saw some changes. Some characters got, got bigger, stronger, you know, highlighting those wrecking balls. 
uh, that have kind of gone up a bit. But like you said, like you already know how to do this. You know what you want to play for this. Like choosing Nepal out of the limited map pool we have just makes the most sense. And especially if you are the Stimps and you know you're going to dive, you know you can do a lot of that in two of those three. Village, you might not. You can kind of do it. You might have a little bit of fumble once you get into village section, but like you can kind of just do what you want to play at this, at, for Nepal. Yeah, 100%. It does have kind of that open availability to kind of want what you're comfortable with. And we kind of seen both these teams kind of have their own preferences and styles. And I really want to see how much they come up in a map like Nepal. Because as I've kind of, we've kind of already noted too, while Brawl can be heavy, I think mm -hmm. there's enough of an open area to where if you wanted to run something a, a bit more dive centric, you do have some opportunities to be able to do so. But of course, we're going to have to wait and see as we're waiting for everyone to get ready for this game. But you know, going into this, I've done them. I know we've all very much predicted Simp Nation to come away with the win. But of course, we have to talk about the fact that this is double elimination. So even if Simp Nation go ahead and win this, move on to the grand finals, it's very possible that Delatica could find themselves yeah. in a rematch in the grand finals. It just more becomes this question of, and I'm thinking how I want to, how to phrase this, because we've seen this happened before where teams end up dropping down yeah. not because necessarily they aren't as good but sometimes they will not do their very best not sandbagging necessarily no. but as in hide, hiding the secret sauce so to speak yeah say, this, is, this is the training arc right like this is you go into the <laughs> tournament you hit the final boss you'll lose the first time you get knocked on your butt you fight your way through and you come back it's exactly the tournament arc like as we all know and love it i wouldn't again I'm with you i don't think that's impossible given the run they've had. Galactica's looked very good. They haven't really dropped many maps either, you know? They haven't dropped a game. They're, they're looking really solid. But I think the... Along with that analogy, you know, if this is the case, I have to believe they've found the big bad of the NA Masters, and they're about to just get knocked out of the ring, and it's time to fall into the lower bracket, because like you said, like maybe we just throw this, if we're Galactica, maybe we just kind of like coast back and go, look, this is a loss. Let's just keep our strats to ourselves, play meta, and go. But... I don't know that that benefits you, right? Like, if you know you have to play mm. them down the road, you should probably just take the full swing, just throw the big haymaker and see if it connects. Because what if you miss? What if that doesn't work and you need to revise your plan? If you held this plan until the end, just hoping, oh, this is going to be the secret, like you said, the secret sauce we need, it could just be the one thing that makes it into, you know, a big hot mess that even Chef Billy would have to frown at. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we do have those situations where we have seen teams in the past, and almost more often than not, they will come together with what they believe is not only just, maybe just not the meta comp, but the comp that they are most confident running, and we'll see them run it into the ground, whether it works or not. But then there are times where teams do have this eureka moment of whether something just shifts barely enough in the meta, or we have this realization of, oh, we tried this in a scrim, it suddenly works, let's keep running it and see how it feels, and maybe come that rematch two weeks down the line, maybe it ends up working out because again we never know because overwatch is a constantly shifting game and meta so you uh, it, it is it, it can be like that we've seen it especially i'm i'm just saying it's not impossible it should hunter, always be kept in mind hunter hunter what? baby you sweet summer uh... child constantly shifting game it's been <laughs> tracer sojourn for the past like three to six months dude Listen, I, can't that, even, uh... I can't respectfully let that slide come on you man. can't I, Coming as as the tank player, I feel like there's some merit to that statement. So so. All right, merit. fine, 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 fine. Sure, sure. You're in a, you're in the middle of a counter pick duel, so I'll give you that one. But like, this has been <laughs> <laughs> this has quite literally been like we've been playing Tracer Sojourn for so long that even the pros yeah. are starting to be like, can we do something else now? But it's still the best thing to do. You need your Tracer yeah. players and your Sojourn players to pop off. You need that burst damage. So. You know, maybe we'll see a few changes. People are trying to swap in Venture for Tracer. I don't know that it's yeah. going to stick, but like you kind of, like you said, you have to have what is at least, you have to start with at least the meta before you kind of adventure out into the wide world of whatever other heroes we have. Yeah, but again, when you're forced against the, the back of the wall true, and you true. realize you're not winning the mirror, hey, you pull something out. That's yeah. a, a, Maybe we can meet in the middle with uh, with that sentiment right there. Sure, yeah, I'll give you that one. I'll give you, yeah, because I'm with you. When you don't have, when your back's against the wall, you might as well throw everything. And at this point, it's, you know, the back isn't there for Galactica, but you can feel Symphonation kind of pushing them slowly and forcing them against the wall before it's going to be to that moment. Yeah, well, we're finally going to get into things here. Seeing what pull teams are going to come out on shouldn't be anything too surprising. 
as a uh, mm, uh, is, mm, murmur. This is the one I was uh, concerned about for uh, for Simp Nation because they do like to play ball. I'm sorry, Galactica, because we know they like to play ball, and you can, but they're going with like the oh yeah kind of comp. So, yeah. I mean, if if you've been paying attention, you can maybe make this work. I'm very curious to see how it pans out because it is. A little bit specific, but there's a pretty beastly hit squad in the Hammond and uh, uh well there's gonna never mind, they're gonna throw out my thoughts yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah That's fine. Now, gonna... Yeah, now we're gonna do it. But I will say nobody coming out on the Reinhardt is interesting, especially with that Earth Shatter buff. That's pretty huge. Like it's it's not like game changing, but Life Weaver Zen is gonna be very risky to come out on. Yeah, I'm not sure what the ideology here is because I could understand having a, a Life Weaver in a Zenyatta hundred percent if you're running the right tank with it. Like, maybe we were thinking, like, a, a ball, maybe even, like, a, some forms, like, a Winston. But uh, a Reinhardt's a little bit of a different story because the Reinhardt, as soon as they're in a position where they can be delivered a bunch of pressure, they're going to be given that pressure. Just the one thing I'm going to see from Galactica is just to be able to unlock this point, force them to come to the point, force them to kind of come Good together shot. because uh, now Reinhardt's already down and nobody's already taken out of the pick, just really sustaining on the point for as long as they can. Redemption hoping to get a little bit of favor in terms of room here. Trying to bring down Good nobody, grab. but gets pulled out. A nice one. And it's looking like eventually Galactica going to be able to take over this point, but so then a fight not nearly over yet. No, but with the second pick ah, on the fatty, yeah. it's over. Yeah, we're done here, and the Reinhardt's isolated. I like the concept that Simp Nation is bringing here. It feels a little trolly in some regards because it feels like we're trusting nobody to really go in and just kind of like swing the hammer but now we're going to change it up we'll bring in the zarya we'll bring in the cassidy yeah now we're going to play into those counters we're going to even go to the brig brig zen is a little better and it, it's a lot more stop like this is a lot more against the tracer i like these changes i'm still not sold on the healing this is very low healing comp so all it takes is some burst damage from mint and she can just end these fights immediately yeah 100 percent. you see already 85 percent over to that overclock as well coming up on 90. These ultimates coming along going to be very important because remember, Sept Nation had to make a couple of swaps, so don't have the best economy as things are as Fatty already going to go down, unfortunately. The point, however, is going to flip over, so you can enter stall territory if you'd like to. And hey, you can go beyond that right now. Mint ends up going down, unfortunately, we see the investment coming through. And Pixie going to go for the copy, getting rid of Redemption, going to be able to clean out this fight. Going to manage to get the nice spear on Z Zatarak, but they're going to be able to get out. So big for Sept Nation to flip that win they did and kind of pull that one back and... It only took them the copy to be able to do so. Yeah, that's a pretty big value out of a low value. Look, you wanted Hunter to see some unique choices and not just play yeah. into the meta, and it's but it's Simp Nation who's giving that to you instead. So it's up to Galactica now, who's going to have these three, these four, almost five ultimates to run it down. And the opening pick from Mint means that this is basically over. Yeah, and they end up they do end up using two ultimates to be able to do it. But that's fine at the end of the day because you realize Simp Nation doesn't really have much to work with right now, so you can afford to use a couple of bigger ultimates like that. Because now, if you want to open up this fight. If you wanted to just use the window as well as the overclock together, or just separately, both those can work perfectly fine. I, I mean, you might as well throw them together. You have control of this high ground, which means wherever they end up, you have Kenku's window plus the rails. Not that you need it for it, but you do have it. it means you should be able to control most of these angles for Simptation's entry, and they don't really have much to do it. They'll probably even have to give up Trance if they want to enter onto you. So Galactica Prime to push this towards the final, the final, uh, final moments. Yeah, because coming up on 70% already at the right things are going, this is going to be coming down to that final fight area. We see the gold come out, and here comes that combination. Genko and Mint working together to combine their ultimates. We do see Pope eventually come away with a pick, and <laughs> <laughs> no, Pixie trying to get out of there. And we see you. <laughs> oh, she did I come through? Oh, Not going to bite anything, but... A couple people did that quick enough. I, I believe they could make one more touch, but it's not going to be a clean one no matter what. If there's going to be a touch, it's going to have to come from the Zenyatta. It's going to give up Trance. That yeah. is such a huge ultimate that is going to make this so much more difficult. It means that they'll probably lose out uh, in the long run, especially versus Zara's, oh, wow. Zatara's uh, sound barrier. Yeah, but nobody managed to make it to the point instead. And now Fatty is just going to stay on nobody's. The Beacon to come online to be able to counteract that. Just trying to force people off of the point, trying to make sure you can keep Mint at a distance as Redemption going to go down. Grab is ready to go if they want to invest in the camp, looking like they're not going to have to. The 5v3 activated. Pixie does eventually go down, but the point is going to flip, and I imagine glad to go going to get out of there for the time being. Sip Nation, importantly, do hold on to that grab, and now no longer a beat to counteract it. Yeah, that grab is going to be their key to holding this. They know they have to they have to keep these fight chains winning because Galactica is fine to just let that let that go. They know they need one more fight and it's over. So, uh, yeah. you know, if Sim Nation plays this and stalls this out, they could maybe stall this to a full 99.99 and take and steal the win here. But Galactica are, you know, they again, this is probably a dry fight for them. 
Yep, someone does have to come down and touch this point. You do not want it to flip, and they're going to let it flip instead. Grab going to come through. Three into oh, the back. Wow. Need to get rid of the immortality field. A lot of people low right now. Eventually going to drain them down. Excellent strategy right there. And again, you force out a couple more ultimates too. That's you get huge. the Terra Surge out. That is... I, I judge them for a moment, not letting the point just being taken over so no. easily, but it ends up working out fantastically for them. I mean, that's painful for Zip Nation because you would have loved that to keep ticking up the whole way. That would have brought you just like you wanted to the last fight. Now you only have this duplicate. It's the only thing on the board next to Mint's uh, rails. So, I mean, if Pix Pixie came up huge on the last duplicate, if it no. comes up huge against here, Simp can steal this. This is, this is their moment to shine for Pixie. Yep, looking for the right copy right now, trying to find the right person. Mint has already taken down nobody, though. Not a whole lot, all, a lot of balls ready to go as Mint is going to eventually have their overclock going to have it ready to go as that is taking over. Someone needs to come so back good. for the touch. Eventually does come back through, but it's looking like it's going to be drained away one by one. Sip Nation not able to make it happen. They started out on the very wonky mm. Reinhardt comp, and that one, fight, that one fight difference just ends up coming and biting them in the back. Interesting. We all yes. kind of assume Sip Nation came into this with this... You know, look, they didn't play it. Uh, they said on the desk, they didn't play in midseason. They just went, yeah, we don't really have the, the players. We don't really feel we need this. And, you know, let, we'll let them go. But Simp Nation really kind of showing a bit of a struggle here. It looked like they finally got some things together. But some very crucial just mistimings of just point control, ultimate usage, really hurt them in the long run. And it's reflected a bit here in the stats as well. You can see it. Uh, yeah. between, you know, most of the damage by is, has come through on Mint 16. There's only one player on the side of Simp Nation with double-digit limbs, and that's nobody who should. They're going to keep the same comp here, Galactica, not changing anything either, but, I mean, I do think Simp Nation are on the right call. They're going to put Lisbeth over to the Lucio as well. I do like this a lot better. I think that they have the better tank line and the, if, to overwhelm here in this regard. Yeah, things like it might look out in Simp Nation's favor, and that's going to be readily apparent Mint. Does manage to get rid of Ho, but that is going to more or less spend the, spell the end of this fight. See a little bit of pressure for Raikun in the background, unfortunately. Going to have to recall. Not going to be long for this Earth or long for this area. Point is going to go over to Sip Nation to start things out. But luckily, get Raikun out. You will be able to re-gauge at, at a quick pace. Yeah. I, I do wonder if Galactica maybe need to make the swap off of the Orisa here. You do have double beam in your face, and that's not necessarily going to work against your spin. No. So Sim Nation playing well. They just need to make sure they avoid these picks, and Mint is going to open it up instead. Yep. You saw the moment that Immortality Field came out. There's this direct attention to it. Now you managed to get rid of, of the... Re you managed to get rid of the block as well as we kind of see Good someone move. trying to hold on. That is a, yeah, you said fantastic boop. And now they're going to invest the copy <laughs> okay. as well. Wow. Hey, okay. Why not? Why not? For the fun of it. Give no. him a second boop. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> the copy boop is real. What a play. Okay, that's a flex. Go Pixie. Look, that is. That's. Why not? We're set the sound barrier. Yeah. Look, we might as well. Look, the, the CGL royalty that, that we were looking for, that's that's it. That's right there. That's a flex. That's what you know what you're doing here. It was a costly ult, though, Hunter, so yes. uh, Recon has, probably has the best chance to open this up with a Pulse Bomb. Yeah, but Elizabeth does come up on that beat here pretty shortly, so we'll be able to counteract Kenku or eventually Redemption as well. But can I let this fight open up a little bit more? And that's exactly what Sip Nation wants, but unfortunately, nobody, uh, not really gonna <laughs> get much from that situation. Is this fight looking like eventually going to go over to Galactica? They are managing to get a little bit of stall out of Sip Nation right now. Lastly, gonna be coming from Hove, who is, uh, looking to survive still. Unfortunately, <laughs> not being too nice to them, <laughs> but still, 72% selling for that long. That puts you in yeah. pretty every, close to one fight territory. Every percentage matters, and it gives Simp, it bought Simp a little bit more time for a regroup. They have Sound Barrier, they have Blade, they have Grab. A lot of high value ultimates here. Uh, so don't just need to not over invest, and they have to get past this Sound Barrier because Galactica is winning in the ults right now, so they have to get past this first. Yep, nobody does have the crab ready to go. They're going to not send it down, going to invest the beat instead, not going to be able to do anything. And somehow Lisbeth gets caught right wow. there with the Terra Surge. That fight's just going to end right then and there. Good for Galactica, where I really didn't think anybody was going to be caught out after the fact, but unfortunately. Ah, that that that's just a devastating pick right there for Simp Nation. Yeah, that feels like something just kind of went awry. It feels like we made a call to go, pulled Blade, and didn't quite have the the confidence to back it up. The plus side for them is that it did pull most of those ultimates out. So Simp Nation grab duplicate. They'll have a window too. It might be a two ult win here, but they should be able to to win this and get back to point control. They just have to push fast for past redemption first. Yeah, the grab is still ready to go, by the way. Has had it for more than two fights now. Jeez. And again, not going to use it. Galactica really cleaning things up here. 
And I'm not sure what Set Nation is necessarily waiting on with these ultimates. They've had this grab for a, a long while now. I just don't think they've been able to push past Redemption. Redemption's been in their face, and you have two characters that realistically do so much pressure, and they're going to put Reaper. onto the Reaper now. We're just going to try what? to burst down this Orisa, uh, but we need to get the backline out of the way because as long as the Baptiste lives, there's going to be an immortality field to keep the Orisa up longer. Got to break the chain of saves first. Yeah, immediately going to give up that territory and play back a little bit. Just listen out for the rotations. Make sure not, they're not going around that back right side. That's exactly what they're going to be doing. You're going to send Poob over along with Lisbeth. Going to hit the backside right now. But Fatty and nobody already down this flank. Not going to end up working out. Eventually going to take <laughs> one with him on the spear. What? And <laughs> with that, he 5%. And Fatty, the only person coming back from a spawn, unfortunately, doesn't seem like we're going to have a retouch here. So, Galactic <laughs> are going to pull away with the first map. Wow. The words that come to my mind, Hunter, is comedy of errors. Yeah. Particularly in that last <laughs> map. But it also applies to the whole first map in a lot of ways, right? It was a lot of small errors on Symphonation that that kind of ended up really costing them. These moments like letting the point flip, you know, just mis you know, mistiming the use of these ultimates, they all really hurt. You know, the mis the mischoice of comp coming out in the beginning, thinking you could win in a Reinhardt versus Orisa. Like, it just seems like these comedies of errors just kind of just kind of keep compiling and piling, and eventually Sip Nation just can't quite get behind it. When you look at this more meta comp that Galactica is bringing, yeah, they're showing that they've been practiced. They're putting in the work, and... Maybe we all are wrong here, Hunter. Maybe we all owe Galactica an apology because they've clearly put in the homework right. to not just the meta, but also what they need to do to beat Simp Nation. Hey, I don't, I don't think I owe them an apology personally, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll see at the end. We'll see at the end. <laughs> uh, but I mean, no, you make a fantastic point, honestly. And I think part of this does come to the fact that these teams did fight against each other three weeks ago. So I, I think there's just this understanding where they know Civ Nation doesn't really fully fall into the meta. So it's like, okay, let's go with the meta. Let's go what's best. This is what we can be confident in and get a lot of practice in. Because this is also what you're going to be playing against a lot of the time as well. So you can especially get practice learning more about it because you can learn a lot about a composition, not just playing it itself, but playing against it especially. I mean... You can see it. The damage from output from the side oh, of Simpation was just matched by the healing, and it's it's very difficult. And even Fatty, you know, had a rough game there at five and eleven. Yeah. And that's the difference I really want to highlight between these two teams, is that the backline from the side of Galactica really hasn't been bothered. And that's where the tracer comes in. You know, when you're just able to get around and poke at you know the Baptiste, whoever those squishies are in the back, it's so much easier to win the game when you just deny that healing. So. I mean, not to call them out there because it's a tough position to be in, but it almost, again, it almost harkens back to why Tracer has been so dominant in this meta. You need someone on those back lines. You need a flanker to get back there and prevent just the, the heal bodying and keeping the tank up, especially a sturdy tank like Orisa. It's why this comp works so well for the side of Galactica, and it's been such a key to their success. Yeah, 100% has been, and there's a good opportunity for them to pull it out once again because, of course, loser picks with Civ Nation going to take us to our next map, and this is a very, for me, this is a very interesting yeah. pick. We're going over to Eichenwald, which the last time these teams faced up each other again three weeks ago, it was Galactica yeah. that came out with the win on this map, a 5-4 to four on Eichenwald to take that win. So, I mean, we're back to the same logic as Nepal where... Okay, you picked them up because you won it recently. Why not? That made sense. This is not the same boat now, Soap Denim. It's not. Yeah, the... I... My guess is that you feel like you've practiced this one. Maybe you've watched the feed on this one. Like, if you're you're watching your VODs back, you know, you're doing... You're, you're putting in the work. You're going to watch mm -hmm. the losses. You're not necessarily watching the wins. So, it kind of makes sense, but I could also see wanting to avoid it. There was other map choices. So, this has to be very intentional based on the fact that... Mm -hmm. You know, we feel the redemption arc. My other thought to all this is that, uh, you know, maybe there's some other comp that they want to be running here for Symphonation on Eichenwald. It's a lot flatter, you know, you get the B point, and you have to maintain the castle, but there's not necessarily, you know, it, it's it's a lot harder to maintain, especially on, you know, across these low grounds. So you can run something like the a ball or a Winston. You can force a lot of those dive elements. So I'm wondering if there's a, a like a, Compositional choice behind this as well. 
Yeah, I mean, we did see earlier they had a lot of comfortability bringing out Pixie out on the Echo. We saw a bit of the Genji yeah. as well. So I, I do think there's a high potential that we could see something like that. And of course, we're going to have to see as we'll get in here momentarily. But I, what I've been really curious to see is if Galactica is going to stick with this recent composition. It seems like what they're comfortable with and what they want to keep. But they have to be anticipating Submation are going to pull out something weird to come to the one map that you've beaten them in before. Hopefully in, they in do, but the question from Simp Nation. Oh! <laughs> that's not that's that's cap. Come on, no, please. That's, no, that's not gonna happen. I don't I don't I hope that I I'd be I'd be fine with it. Give it to me. <laughs> I don't think so. Simp Nation is gonna try to it's interesting because they uh, like they keep trying to push this life weaver and I don't hate the idea of it. He did get buffs, he got he got a little yeah. better. Um just kind of acknowledging look, we need to play the Orissa here, sure. Yeah, like the sustain I don't hate on this, but the Life Weaver versus the Lucio is going to be the interesting choice. I refuse to speak on Galactica until the door is open. So, uh, yeah. in that regard, like I, I do wonder because that feels like a very comfortable point for Elizabeth. We talked about, you know, are you just going to play, like, are you just going to play on this? And yeah, they'll go out. Ooh. That's what I thought. Um, yeah. Like, I do wonder. Like, that's a preferred character for Elizabeth. So I have to wonder if this is something they've been, you know, cooking because you do miss out from speed boost. It is a rough. It is so important in this meta to have speed boost, and this might be a, a, yeah. pain, a pain point for them. Yeah, that's why you already see a lot of people already playing back, trying to play around these, uh, eventually getting over to these high grounds that are available to them around the point. Be very useful at the end of the day. It'd be very useful also with Pixie up in the sky. Kind of going to have a constant track as to where people are going, if people are taking the left or right path, trying to loop onto the high ground. Because right now, they're just trying to go in all in with these pressure, putting them in an uncomfortable situation. But Ray, are we going to get a right cone? So we're going to take them out and Ooh. make that a two for one special as well, clearing things out. And we have not been able to see the Ash yet, but it seems to be a good pick to start off for them, as it's really going to limit everything that Mint and Raikou can actually do. Because Raikou has been an absolute menace, but perhaps the Ash is going to be the answer to stop them. I mean, considering Mint was, again, just kind of able to free fire, there was no real contest onto her uh, for mm -hmm. most of it. Now we're going to get the, oh. gonna make the swap here. We're going to get the Echo in the air as well. So, uh, yeah, it makes sense. If you don't think you can win the mid-range, long-range duel, uh, take a different angle on it, and I respect that choice. But I mean, Pixie's already at a duplicate. Like as fast wow. as Kenku built, as fast as Kenku built, built window, we already have a duplicate on board. Oh, Great shot. just deletes <laughs> Zatarak right there. Unfortunately, gets deleted afterwards as well. The four v four, four already or four already does have the Terrorist ready to go. Going to pull a couple back in. Ooh. Goes in with such minimal health, so going to be deleted. It's the, the second one's the charm, obviously. Gets through, <laughs> eventually pulled, and now I don't think anyone can make it back. But we do see the, uh, the swap over to first ball, now Winston. So I don't think they're going to retouch, as they're just going to be setting up no. for the high ground for a second. Yeah, the high ground's too important to give up. So that, that ex I mean, you need the Winston to jump and dive that. Elizabeth does have tree. We also have both the support ultimates for Simp Nation, including a Bob coming up. So... Like, from sheer firepower, some nations should be able to put a stop, but Galactica are in a very good position for ultimates of their own uh, to kind of ca counteract this, and Sound Barrier will be a lot more saving than Tree will in this regard, so uh, really going to have to watch out for this Lucio and how they get use of their Sound Barrier. Yeah, and oh Oof. my goodness, Gravy Mint. That is crazy. Getting rid of Pixie. Almost immediately in that 1v1 situation, and now 5v4, there's not a whole lot Sip Nation can do to kind of <laughs> can do to really stop this cart from moving, as they can't really fully commit to the dive without the Echo. So eventually we see somebody drop on to the point as Ray has managed to find Kenku, hoping clear things out a little bit. Man, hoping to find somebody, especially this Life Weaver, not going to be able to co get the copy out on time, so eventually going to be stop momentum for Galactica. Still, the opportunity to get a lot of members out, but unfortunately, Zatarak. Uh, it somehow gets out. Uh oh. I like the defensive dive from the Sim Nation. We're, we're instead playing. We're not trying to dive the backline here. We're playing to defend our vulnerable Life Weaver and our vulnerable uh, Baptiste. And I like this change. Galactica is going to go over and pick up the Moira. Now we're just all in on healing. We're all in on sustain, and we're just going to run down things. And this is a rough spot for Sim Nation. Yeah, B comes online. Unfortunately, not really going to be on time to catch Raycon as they're pulled back into the Terra Surge. Get, eventually gets lifted up, not really going to save everybody in the situation, but going to allow everyone to kind of eventually back off and glad to play. Not quite working for them right now, but Redemption doing a heck of a lot of work on this Orisa. Poop eventually going to be forced to use that. <laughs> they eventually be forced to use the Primal Rage as well. Kind of just stalling on the cart more than anything else. Eventually gets Kenku into a corner, forcing them 
to fade out as Summation just gonna have to back up for now, but a nice kill by Ray to kind of even things back up. And this is just, it's just been a constant back and forth the next, the last like 60 seconds. Ray has been a shining star for the Sim Nation team. I oh, really yeah. wish, and I love the fact that we're trying to put the resources into him to make this work, but now we're coming into, you know, 2 minutes 30. It's still so long on this clock. Kanku's coming up to a coalescence, which means, you know, there's a lot of burst damage coming from Galactica. This is that Lucio speed burst. All it's going to take is a coalescence and a speed burst just to get them in onto somebody from Sip Nation, and the fight might be as good as over here, Hunter. And 100% is coming up. Just over 2 minutes currently. Kenku is going to have this coalescence, so we're likely to see another aggressive push to the top, and there they go immediately starting out with it. Remember, not going to have the spear to be able to get rid of it. Here's that cleanup from Galactica. We do see the copy come through from Pixie, though, to be able to kind of consolidate. Try to hold on to this top area for as long as they can. Try to get the ultimate. Fortunately, not going to be able to. And it's going to pay with their life. And Poop now up there by themselves. Wants to see Mage Field maybe get rid of right gun, but unfortunately not going to be able to, as eventually the cleanup will come through. And this cart should finally be able to start getting some progression. It, it was a long overdue hold, but we're still going to get the what? Winston in this space, which, hey, respect from who, who's really doing a lot of work, gets grabbed out. out, and I mean, oh, it dodged the, it dodged the pulse bomb, though, so that's a huge comeuppance. That is crazy, and now coming in with the Terra Surge, is going to eventually catch things, but we saw the tree come through, doesn't save Lisbeth, and it might not end up being saving a whole lot of Fatty, going to play around it, getting more than enough healing to be able to stay up that tree, Bob. ends up being an absolute godsend, is meant now with the copy, hoping to find something more, unfortunately not going to be able to, and Glettica, by the way, are just now getting somebody on this cart and getting moving. So that whole fight that they ended up winning mm. ends up being almost meaningless. Yeah, I mean, quite honestly, it, it was one of those moments where you've had this, you need to keep pressure, you know, one of those, again, minor errors where you got to keep the cart moving. And now you have to make your onslaught again. This time you have the Winston Primal in your face, so running straight at Poob isn't oh. going to be an answer here. No, definitely not going to be a Sip Nation. Still have the Primal Rage online. Have the application matrix that they're going to use right away. Unfortunately, not going to have a whole lot of use as Ray is going to get deleted. It's a bit of a weird situation, but the weird situation now is Boo Boo is eventually going to be forced to use the Primal Rage just to be able to stay alive. Unfortunately for Redemption, they don't quite have it, but they do get hit with the beat. Going to help for Galactica to clean things up here, get some progress on that card as Boo, again, just try to do a little bit of damage on this before getting out with a double jump. And ends up getting pulled as well. Call it a triple jump. Why not? Oh. The yeah. good news for Sim Nation is that there's likely one last chance to touch because, like you said, the cart hasn't been fully moving. They only yeah. have Pixie's duplicate, so uh, they're going to have to hit something. It's probably going to be something else, and Poop's going to pick up the ball here. Speed is key, so we're going to have to go if there's even sh a chance to touch in time. Yeah, 0.7% going to go in with that copy. It's going to get the Lucio. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> I don't think that was the plan, and now Galactica... Excellent position to be able to clean this out, to take it to the second, but Ray does manage to get rid of one, unfortunately. Not gonna have a bob anytime soon as Poop is now on there with the Wrecking Ball. Getting a lot of heals from the tree as well. Last person standing. Casey looks like they're gonna be actually coming back on the venture, and they're really going all in to try to hold this point to stall. Unfortunately, Poop not gonna be surviving for much longer here. It's eventually going okay. to be deleted as Pixie does manage to find okay. one. Poop finds a second one. But the primary rage is still online, and Redemption might want to try to use it sooner rather than later. And here it comes, trying to move people away, take them off of this thing over time. Been activated for a long time, so they cannot afford to get off as Poop eventually goes down. Needs to be able to find a second one, though. Going to jump no in. No way. Need to get back to the cart! <laughs> oh, I could, you could see it in the, in the shakes. You could see it. Redemption's like, I need to pressure. I need to push off cart, but I can't go far. Eventually says... I think there's someone here, and they can stay on the cart. Takes too many steps off, and where is your CGL certified C9er? Man, can't, can't what a comedy of errors! This is this is just turning out to be that again. This is just turning out to be that because that was a great initial look from Galactica. But you know, look, this is the simp nation we wanted to see, right? Like, this is the simp this is the simp nation we thought we were going to see, who was going to come in, be a dominant force, and clutch up in those last minutes, and they did. To their credit, Hunter, they clutched up, they put their foot down just before point B, and they got the stop when, with how much time, how many how many minutes did they even burn off the clock? At least three to four? Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, yeah, they originally going with a big time clock, it, and part of that does come down to the Galactica not just making the, the, the rule, like rule one mistake, but the rule two mistake of put bodies on the cart, not just for yeah. overtime, but just in general as they just weren't able to get all the progress that they ended up fighting for is take a look at the stat lines over here standing out 
a lot of feeling coming through from Lisbeth. Holy moly. For it's someone that's yeah. been between the Life Weaver mostly, that is a ton of feeling to be getting. Wow. I'd say that's the only real, like, noticeable difference, right, is that Lisbeth on the Life Weaver really hasn't yeah. been able to do much damage, whereas, like, you're playing Lucio, you can still just send out them O's and, and hit and drop the beats on them, but... Uh, we'll pick up the Lucio here for Simp Nation, Ooh. and Pixie is going to stay on the Venture. Kenku? It is a good Tracer counter. They're, we're playing all in versus this Tracer, and I do think it's a good opener, <gasps> except for when Mint just absolutely picked and gets first pick. Yeah, we did see Kenku get kind of low. I was nervous about them dropping, unfortunately. Ooh. And that'd be unfortunate as Redemption does manage to get the cleanse. Going to be able to stay up, and Lisbeth dropping means that fight definitively going to be over. Simp Nation going to have to completely restart as Ray was literally sitting on one health for a moment there. Yeah, that was dang low, but Kenku had swapped over to the Kiriko, picking that up now. And, I mean, that's, again, that's the changes you need, right? If you don't want to play for Baptiste, you play for Kiriko, who's still very strong here. And it's still in the neutral, so... Simp Nation have to find a target. They need to collapse on somebody here, and it's not going to be this Tracer who's just in their back line. Yeah, Poop already got forced out of their golden form as well, so not going to have that going in here for the first couple of seconds. You see the separation from Ray. He's going to still be able to stay alive, and instead, Raku going to be paying the price. Instead, Pixie, a nice job on the on the venture, eventually helping with the cleanup as well. As look, the rest of the members going to try to back out, going to try to set up for a touch because they do have the ability to do so, but it's a risk to do so. And a massive not with that one. late, not with that nope. late Kiriko pick. Never mind, it's done here. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I, you know, like, we're still trying to find Venture's position in the meta right now, but Pixie's making a very good case for the anti-tracer. In fact, it's even Force Recon off of the tracer, and we're going to pick up the Cassidy, just deciding, look, we, we're we not going to play into this. We're just getting bullied by too many things on Simp Nation, so let's do it. And that's a great that's a great sign for Simp Nation. It forces them off of something they were winning on, and it means that Simp Nation, with this sound barrier in pocket, are likely to go ahead and, and get some more mileage on this cart now. 100%. A lot of ults ready to go as well. As you see right now, they have a body just sitting on the cart, but Galactica are going to take out the middleman and go pressure immediately. Cleanse is forced out. <laughs> be happy to be used. <laughs> Both, a lot of ultimates coming out in the span of a couple of seconds. That was going to go for the favor of Simp Nation, eventually cleaning things up here. And now they have the room to get as much progress as they want. And oh Ooh. my god. Ray has been sh absolutely nutty with these hit scans. Absolutely on fire with the ash, now showing it on the cast. I love it. Uh, tech shock, tech shock, and window coming up. Nothing. I mean, there's sound barrier in the way for Galactica, but uh, I mean, Galactica have been struggling. They have not won a fight on this road on this half yet. Yeah, not at all. We do see that come through. The cleanse literally keeps Lisbeth alive. Or the, or the, or the cleanse is going to keep uh, Zatarak alive. My apologies. As Mint has the overclock ready to go. Is going to double down and use it to be able to try to clean this up here. This fight a must win right now. Eventually cleaning things up. Mint will eventually drop, but the damage has already been done. Pixie on the scene. Manages to get rid of one. Not going to be able to find the second, though. So Sip Nation not going to be able to push that further. And Galactica finally has an opportunity to stabilize. I mean, it's uh, Galactica just won by sheer ultimate power. Like, just straight up. That's just what it is. So, uh, But now that we're back to even, I mean, uh, Zatar has Sound Barrier. You're, you're good for a long fight here. You have the high ground position. You just got to make sure you get to the long fight. And getting Immortality Field out of Fatty is huge. You just need to make sure you can go on it now. Yeah, I mean, but talk about the difference between these two teams. We had one team that constantly was not keeping on the point, not delivering any pressure to it. We have a team like wow. Sim Nation, who is just delivering all of the pressure as Lisbeth already down, so looking better for Galactica, but unfortunately, going to lose out on their Cassie. You see a Deadeye come out over from Ray, hoping to find something, but if anything else, it's just denying Ooh. a bunch of space, and eventually the final cleanup for Mint, and now Sim Nation going to tie up the series one-to-one -one with a... A borderline dominant victory here on Eichenwald. A, a, a far shout for how this affair went from them last time in this map. Yeah, no, I think dominant is, is the correct word here because that was very good. Mint putting up a very good performance uh, on the Sojourn as well. But, I mean, Symphonation just looked to be in a different form. We wondered if this yeah. map choice, you know, what was the logic here? You lost this, and it shows, look, they did prepare. They were ready for this, and maybe it wasn't exactly how we thought they were going to be prepared for this, but... Uh, it they definitely did, and I think a lot of it has to come from the back of the DPS find Ray and Pixie. Pixie a little bit quieter this time, but Ray, just an absolute clip show uh, from their Ash and their Cassidy uh, across the board. Simp Nation really, maybe it was just a game to warm up, but they are firing on all cylinders now. Yeah, it was really impressive to kind of come to see the difference between map one and map two, where it felt like before. That. Yeah, that was that, that was a certified. <laughs> 
certified copy moment right there is... I mean, yeah, you, you, you said yourself, I'm kind of impressed with this turnaround between map 1 and map 2, where it wasn't like it was an absolute stomp on Nepal either. It was very back and forth. It was just the early on mistakes that really caused the Sim Nation, but this time around, they knew what they wanted to play, they knew what they were comfortable at, and this time ends up working out fantastically so. But I, I'm as much as I want to see the successes of, of Sim Nation on this, it's the failures of Galactico that we kind of have to bring up because... We look back on that situation of getting off the cart, not getting your progress. Is what? Hunter from Ray. Whoa. Thirteen thousand from Ray. That's two thousand over Mint and tying uh, both of the tanks. And these are tank heavy damage comps, right? These are Erlishes that are always firing, but a lot of it really has to do. And look at the other numbers that are standing out here. Is the healing stat lines? Elizabeth and Fatty at nineteen wow. total, and Kenku and, Z uh, and Zatara coming in at twenty. They're just a little bit behind, but. You know what, if you were putting out enough damage to win and you were supporting your carry enough, it doesn't matter how much healing you're doing as long as your carry is doing the carry. I mean, I mean, you said yourself 100% as I'm really kind of looking forward to kind of looking at this comparison we have ready here in front of us between two of our support players, Fatty and Ken Ku. And the one difference, as we have pointed out, is that healing a, a, pretty much a complete double from Ken Ku at 14,000. That is... Yeah. I, I mean, that is an incredible difference. That is a huge number. I mean, it, it, it doesn't help that Fatty's had such a... I, I harped on it in, in the first game, but, like, Fatty's had an awful time playing Overwatch today because <laughs> he has just been getting hit and bullied and tracer shot and pecked at from all kinds of angles. So to sit here and kind of compare these numbers, yeah, it's very clear that, like, Kenku was playing incredibly well, but for Fatty to take all the abuse and come in and get hit yeah. like this... And for the team to still comes on top tells you that, look, they understand that that Simptation understands. Look, you can take our you can take our flex support. We don't need that. The person who's carrying is our DPS over here, who's just clicked heads, you know, multiple times in a row. So they're they're playing. It's the old sack the pawn to get the king in position kind of a play. I mean, yeah, one hundred percent. I'm really curious how things are gonna go from here because it's still loser's pick. We'll find out our next map eventually. But of course, Sev Dunham, we do have to take a moment to kind of give our halftime break. These teams potentially going to have a long night in front of us. Could we be looking at potentially a map five between these teams for the very first time? We're gonna have to find out after our break. So wait around for a few minutes, and we'll see you then. Here, you know, you get an insight and you know something, you know, but you don't want to say it out loud because you're kind of afraid that it's not going to be really true and will spoil the whole thing for you, you know. But when somebody makes you say it, then, and it's true, then it just makes it more beautiful to say.
Welcome back, everybody, to our matchup here in the upper finals of the NA Masters tier between Sip Nation and Galactica. And it has been a two-sided story thus far. We came in with Sip Nation being the favorites going into this match, almost definitively so, as between, you know, us and the desk. But we came into that first map, Galactica really cooked, really placed something they were comfortable on. But then we come in to Eichenwald, Sip Nation, and it's pulling it back, and dominantly so. So th the question is... What are Sip Nation cooking at this point? It feels like a wildly different team compared from map one to map two. I mean, it could just be a case of playing with their food. Maybe they know they can win this comp. Maybe they know exactly what they're doing. We saw nobody come in for, for map one. We haven't seen them since. You know, a couple of these players are seem to be listed. You know, I think it was Pixie who was supposed to be the other tank player, but has been playing Echo primarily, which, you know... I mean, if your Echo is primarily copying tank, it's not the worst thing, but I don't know. It seems like there's maybe an element of playing with our food a little bit for them. So uh, going into Suravasa, though, uh, I don't know. Maybe this is Galactica's chance because they've shown they shown that they are very understanding of the Orisa comp, that meta kind of you know, st you know know stability comp, and they know what they're doing. And Simp Nation have their answer. They know what they can do. We saw that venture come out, and it worked. Uh, so now we're just going to kind of get another view at is these are these uh unique picks from simp nation uh you know making the difference here or can galactica just hunker down and actually get another and steal another map here i mean yeah it's worth noting i mean we kind of looking at the rosters that we can see there's no real swaps coming back out so nobody is not coming back out here so i imagine we might see something very similar to what we had seen originally on Eichenwald. I do think they, with even with a map like this, there is a lot of potential to pull out something like the Echo again. It's not necessarily very volatile on that first map, but once you look at the other four, I mean, those maps have a lot of open areas outside of the main center of the point. So if you wanted to still run that, you 100% have the availability to. It's just not going to be as effective as something like Eichenwald that while it does have kind of a lot of areas to move around, the primary place you play is up in these high grounds and these open areas. So I don't think it's going to have the same level of effectivity, but if they wanted to do it, they could still get away with it. Yeah, you're right. They still could. We did see the Echo uh, quite a bit, and it's a decent kind of second choice if you don't want to play the Sojourn. Yeah. But I do think the the problem with that is Symphonation's shown they have the number. We bring out the Venture. Yeah. We bring out the Cassidy. This this just gets rid of Tracer and, uh, and Echo. So, like... I mean, you, if you're Galactica, you know that they have an answer for you. Can you? You're probably going to force it just because it's your best comp. I mean, yeah. But on the other side, Simp Nation, like, look, we found what's working for us. We're just going to roll with this. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw Venture Cassidy again come out for the side of Simp Nation, and Galactica are going to. Look, I know the Arissa's staying. I think Mint might actually stay on the Cassidy here, but, um, so. I, I mean, I'm curious to see what Galactica has as a response, right? Because now they're on the back foot of all this. They're, they've shown that they can lose on their preferred comp, so I'm very curious to see if they just kind of back it up to the same thing and uh, Rakan goes back to the Tracer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think that might be, they might swap off after this first fight. Like, you just, yeah. you have to know the Venture Cassidy is going to be there. Yeah, and now that's the only difference between Pixie and Ry uh, Rykon as for the time being, going to see Galactica going to be pushed immediately out of this choke area. The rest can be forced back. Zatarak almost getting themselves picked off, but Kenku's Gosh. actually going to be the first one to drop. And just like that, he loses out on the main source of healing. You're going to have to back out and get out of there already. Make sure you keep, you know, Rykon alive as well as we forced out. First point going to start out for Simp Nation. And I, as you said it before, I wonder how long they're going to, like, keep this pick, knowing that this venture is going to be an absolute yeah. menace for the entire map. Yeah. Venture is just a peel machine. Like, you have a peel machine with a one-shot combo on this Venture. Pixie's very, very paying attention to the backline now where this Tracer is. You can see the... the you can see Sim Nation is making those calls now. Yep, going in deep right now, hoping to find Kenku once again. Delivering a lot of pressure. Mint can be the first one to go down. Immortality Field will get forced out. And while things are going a little wow. back and forth, I think the damage, the damage has been more than done already. Trying to stay alive is Redemption. Is Pixie going to help them out with cleaning things up here? But one thing worth noting is... Uh, Rykon has managed to find a couple of picks throughout that, so Kenku gonna have a bit of a. a diff oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, yeah. eventually gonna yeah. have to wait <laughs> get their way back. I'm sorry, but uh, it is final fight territory, and their touch, no matter what, is not gonna be clean. Just Simnation are not letting them through at all. No, I mean, you still have your two most damaging picks in front of uh, Galactica, so there will be a touch, Ooh. but, uh, I mean, Poob has looked very good on this Orisa as this frontline tank, and, I mean, again, following up on those shots is just so huge. 
Yeah, again, this is the second fight now where they've lost Kenku. They're just gonna clean things up with the raw damage that they have. They're doing Terror Search literally just for fun. Let's be honest, they did it just for fun right there. Just to, because they wanted to use it. So first point, gonna go over to Simp Nation. For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah. you got it. That was it. just for you, chat. Enjoy it. <laughs> But like, but for real talk, Poob just built that straight up faster. Redemption, who had been yeah. a standout for Galactica, just is behind in ult charge. And now Symphonation coming in with the other four on the line. Like, I mean, Galactica have a difficult position to stand in. There's no sound barrier to stop any of these ults. And they're behind on the point control. So they are just destined to lose this here. Yeah. I do like Kenko being over on the Kiriko as well, though. Mint is going to catch Lisbeth, though. Gonna lose out on the potential of getting that beat, so now just have to wait for the Pixie to come back up, catch them in the situation, but with Redemption already going to be down and Pixie back on the scene. Sit Nation gonna be able to clean this one up, holy moly! And just, uh, Galactica do not have an answer for this, th ooh, for this Redemption, but Mint, gonna try to match it instead. I mean, yeah, when you don't think you can win on your preferred heroes, you have to take the mirror. Uh, unfortunately for Sim for for Mint, uh, the mirror already has ultimates over you. There's four for yeah. Nation and still no sound barrier. So uh, this is fights as good as over, as far as I can I'm concerned here. I mean, yeah, we did the slam come through. Right ends up getting caught, but now Pixie gonna be ready to go. Going to use it already to down though. They have to find something. Zatarak somehow gets caught up with it. Unfortunately, not gonna be anything. Is the beat gets used specifically for Poob yeah, and for uh, for Lisbeth as the Ajax came through for Zatarak. I did not realize initially. It looks like they're eventually going to win the fight, but still, that's a massive ult to lose in that situation. If Sim Nation also getting a lot of stall as well, putting themselves into that one fight territory, getting 74%. I mean, the Ajax was there, but it was, look, it, we got what we needed out of it. We got the fight win, and that's a shame. Oh, yeah, in man. the middle, the tech shock just hit it. That's a great snipe from uh, from wow. the mint there. Incredibly done. But, uh, hey, that's the way it is. So, <laughs> Sim Nation 2 in hand will have a Terra Surge as well, and... I mean, it's, it's up to Raccoon here, still in the trace, oh! absolutely gets deleted, so never mind that Pulse Bomb now. Yep, yeah, not going to happen. I like the idea, unfortunately, didn't really work out. And now, you're in a situation where you might not want to try to use anything at all. Take to death on this point, make sure everybody dies together, as they're going to go in with the Terra Surge, cleaning okay. things up here. Sim Nation going to clean out this fight, and unfortunately, those deaths were somehow not on the point, so with 80% are going to come online, I, I think a retouch is next to impossible. Yeah, it's not happening, and unfortunately, Kenku threw in uh, Kitsune Rush on a hope and a prayer, so that's gone yeah. for the next fight now. Looking ahead, uh, you know, it's again, it's Galactica's yeah, just going to go. Uh, nope. nope. No, they will not. No, they will not touch, Hunter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> despite the best efforts of Rakone, they will not touch, and we will go on. Uh, <laughs> the only thing Rakone will touch is spawn, uh, which puts Symphonation <laughs> in the point to, again, get first touch of this point and be able to defend. And as long as they're holding these positions and they're able to play a bit more defensively into this, this comp, they win. This Galactica has to push them, and everybody is on a high alert for Tracer and Kiriko right now. Yeah, 100% here is already Galactica does manage to make their way into the point first and foremost despite losing Raycon earlier. And now, we have a way to come through that amplification matrix. Gonna buy them a ton of space, gonna force Galactica over to the left side of this point. Force them into the upper areas as well as they're eventually gonna force their way through. Immortality Field still oh, there. Wow. Spin is going absolutely wow. fuck wild! Finding the 3k, eventually gonna help out with Redemption on the last two. Galactica finally gonna only take a fight decisively wow. this time around. What a fantastic combo right there. That's a good, we love to see those pulls and the team, that's the teamwork of Overwatch, right? You love to see it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get the ace, but man, that was beautifully done. You love to see the good venture play, but, and Mint's holding their own on this. We, you, Pixie had been a standout on the venture, but now Mint showing, look, I've not slouched either. I can still hold my own on this venture duel. Yeah, but one thing worth noting is they used th all three ultimates they had during that fight. So now Sim Nation going to have uh, their own ultimates coming back online. They're not going to hold them back at all. Going to force them back. Cleanse is already gone. They're going to get off the point. Literally not even going to get the retouch either. So they, they lose the fight based off of that merit as is. And now, Black Guy got to come back into this, hoping to get the consuming rush. But they cannot lose anybody in the meantime, especially not Satarak right now. Is Kenku going to bring out the Kitsune Rush, the big way to come online? A nice spear trying to book Pixie away. <laughs> gets him off the edge now. Glad to go finally getting something working. And Mint somehow gets rid of Lisbeth as well. Fight eventually going to go back. The point going to fall back into Galactica's hands. But this point could have fully been theirs. And we could have had a 2-1 situation. It weren't for the aggressive push and flip by Sip Nation earlier on. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, but it was met by the counter-aggression of Galactica. They threw all in, and they knew they can't play defensively and they can't play safe. Simp is expecting them to play aggressively, so they have to cater their aggression accordingly. That's what happens, and that's what shows when you win. It'll be Poob over to the Winston now uh, to try to you know, just give themselves a little more movement uh, to balance this out. So uh, going to have to see how this Winston just survives into this tanky comp. Yeah, we're seeing going to be the B come out from Zatarak right now. Fatty going to have to use a mortality field just to make sure everybody stays alive. But this fight could potentially be over with already as going to see a lot of well, damage come through from Pixie now. Eventually going to be booked away as men. Wow. But they're not going to make their way back. Pixie helping clean things up here. Somehow the Winston seemingly working out. Going to separate Redemption. Should be eventually be able to get rid of them. Kenku not going to be too far behind as the rest of the players just going to die on the point or managed to get out in Kenku's case. And they're going to chase a little bit as well, hoping to find them, but it looks like Kenku will get oh. out safe and sound. The plus side for Galactica here is you have Pulse Bomb, and if you're tracking, you know Lisbeth is a little bit off of that sound barrier. So yeah. you stand a chance to maybe get an opening pick and capitalize on it, but that has not been your strong point for Galactica. It's been Simp Nation no. opening up all these fights, so really have to, again, the pressure's on the Tracer here. We have to see Rakan just hit something with this Pulse Bomb. Yeah, it comes through. And it's gone. With, and it, it is gone. No ultimate's going to be online right now. It comes down to these supports to get them online. Pixie, though, going to have it ready to go. Going to send it out. A lot of damage throwing Redemption's way. Need to be able to survive. Same thing with Poop, though, who's already <laughs> sitting under 200 health. The bubble's gone, but the big way to come online, Kenku, sitting at 97%, needs to get it there at 98, 99, but it's not going to come wow. alive on time. Sip Nation going to clean things up. Will eventually take Saravasa in 3-0 fashion. And it, wow. The, the, wow. Wow is the one word that I have for <laughs> this map. Wow. I think... That's insane. I think, uh... I think they're trying to fulfill a prophecy here, Hunter. I think they saw the three <laughs> ones and went, you know what, let's give them a three one. Uh, and that's not to say there was a, that was an intentional throw, but I mean, not when Mint comes up with plays like that. That it's, you know, you still have to earn every single one of these fights when Mint is playing venture like that. So, I mean, but like you said, it was just a very strong showing. Simp Nation came out immediately countering Galactica. Everything, you know, everything, as I was saying before, everything was comedy of errors against them. And now everything is going exactly their way. They're picking the right comps into Galactica. Their calling has come together. And whether they were just playing with their food or just kind of flexing for stream, I mean, they are they're on fire right here. They are crushing right now. I mean, no, 100%. I mean, you just see these little moments from Galactica, Brilliance, but unfortunately, that usually, oh, that usually comes at the cost of a lot of their ultimates. You see it right here. Fantastic yeah. fight. Takes three of their ultimates. Three of the best ultimates in their arsenal as well. And while they win the fight, that leaves them nothing for the fight after that. And you kind of see right here, they make advantage of these moments of, of being able to play around this, this you know, environmental death situation. Unfortunately, Sip Nation, they play their cards right. They hold on to the ultimates that they need. And ultimately, it's a paying off for them as we go back to the stat lines. And I, I mean, what, what's the one thing on this that really stands out to you? Uh, that would be the two players on the side of Simp Nation with over 20 limbs versus, you know, three, almost 60, was that 60% uh, of the team just not completing kills? You know, Kenku is four and five, uh, Zatar is five and six. People aren't hitting the one to one KD, which means they are just not even trading out, which is so just, it hurts. If you can't even get traded out, if you can't even complete those kills, it's just unfortunately the way it goes because. You know, it's 11k healing to 10k healing. They're finally starting to heal a little bit more for Simp, which they don't need to. But the other thing that stands out is just, I mean, a lot of uh, Galactica's plan, they're all in on Redemption. They're really putting a lot of hope into Redemption being the, the high damage and the high opener for them. So it's interesting because you are that's how the comp wants to run, right? You want to yeah. pressure with the Orisa and open it up that way. But uh, Simp Nation's just decided, no, we have a great hit scan player. We have a great, you know, we have a great couple players on our DPS line. We're just going to go ahead and let them do their thing, and they have been running the game uh, versus this tank-centric comp. I mean, yeah, 100%. And I don't think it's exactly the wrong call to kind of put all of your cards into Redemption, because Redemption hasn't really no. done a bad job no. either. They, they really haven't. I no. think that it's one of the best, well, one of the better calls you could make. Yeah. But now you've re-entered the situation where now the back is against the wall. You cannot afford to lose another map here, and while you will have your own selection, it becomes that situation of what I brought up before we even got into the series. 
do we stick with what we would have been practicing and hoping that it's going to work out on this next and potentially final map? Or is this the opportunity where we're going to pull something out? As going over to Esperanza, this is a map where you can pull things out. This is definitely that kind of map. And for once, this um, is a map that we have not seen these two compete in before. Yes, no. still saw some Nation take the win on push in their last matchup, but still, the door is open for the possibility. Here's Straight my fear, up. Hunter. Here's my fear, uh -oh. though. Oh, I have a lot of fears. <laughs> I, have, I have many. <laughs> I'm a millennial. I have many fears. But here's my fear in regarding to this map particularly. Yes. We have seen Simpanation flex over to dive heroes. Yes. It's kind of been the dive heavy angles. You have a lot of high grounds that you want to control. And we have seen Galactica run at things very quickly and very timely. And that's not as bad. That's, like, that's not as great here if you can just jump out of line. So... I'm, I'm with you in this regard. I want to see Galactica make a change. I want to see them bring out some sort of a, a dive comp or make something because you've hit a point where the Orisa just isn't working and the comp, you know, like you said, we're back against the wall. Time to throw the Haymaker. Time to throw whatever we got next to us because it's time to go. And Symphonation, you know, whether they are just playing with their food, whether they've just kind of tightened up their comms and pulled it together, it's working. This is not the comp I would have... If someone had told me, had showed me this comp and said, this is what's going to be happening in the CGL playoffs, I'd have laughed at you. I'd have straight up yeah. laughed at you because I would just be like, why are we playing Cassidy Venture with a Winston? What is going on here? But Sip Nation is making yeah. it work. And Galactica, thank you. I appreciate that. I love the idea. I love this. Let's put some yeah. pressure. Let's, let, let's try to enable Raycon to get those picks that work so well for you in map one. If you can keep Fatty, you know, just not healing and keep Lisbeth in check... You can do this. You can steal those wins. Simp Nation have shown that they're more able to peel now, but it's still your best hope of getting the win. It 100% here. Yeah. And you have that opportunity between Lisbeth and Fatty. It's going to have a lot of good dive scenarios. We look back at the way old-fashioned dive back when it was Zen and Mercy. If you were Zen Yada, you were, you were praying and hoping that the dive could not reach you. So kind of a similar vein right now. As we're going to see for the time being, Galactica going to be sitting on the point and going to be a little aggressive with this jump as well, hoping to find something to counter dive coming through. And Lisbeth ends up getting pincered. A nice opportunity there. Very well executed. Mint can help with a cleanup <laughs> first fight. <laughs> yeah, Mint ends up getting three and looks like they're going to stay alive as well. Going to clean things up. Poop going to try to stay alive. Going to dive. Going to be able to get the Mega just in time, but not Ooh. going to live. And Galactica going to be able to get a lot of uh, meter rage out of this first fight as well. I need to talk that opening pick because Galactica did something I was hoping they would do. They targeted Lisbeth first, which if you've been watching the if you've been watching the numbers, Lisbeth is primarily doing most of this healing from the uh, life lever. So that's a good read. That's how you adapt. You have to figure out who's actually keeping this tank line up and going forward. And Galactica now primed from the high ground. Uh, they should be able to again, hopefully, be able to isolate this this life weaver a little bit. Yeah, uh, Mint flying into a wall indeed is not going to save your life, but one person's life who is not going to save is Lisbeth, who actually gets drained Huge. down. Latka able to clean up this next fight pretty well as well. Poop does end up getting one pick, unfortunately. Not going to be able to turn around the whole entire fight, and they're going to double down on trying to get rid of Mint. Unfortunately, not really going to work out, as the Butt Scratch already going to get unlocked no. less than two minutes in no. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> Mint has wow. decided we are not losing this game, Hunter. Mint has decided I will I will make this happen, and I respect that because, uh, I mean, it's like you said, do or die right now. Uh, it's almost all five for Galactic at this point. Simp's holding on. They'll bring in the 76 now. Um, I guess, yeah, we need a little more pressure on to Mint, considering Mint has been an absolute terror. I mean, yeah, absolutely right now. We're going to see a little bit of a back off as the point ended up getting clipped. Hello, gone. guys? The, uh, uh, yeah, might want to stop that. Redemption getting rid of Ray, but of course Bixie back over on that venture. But still, fight looking like it's going in the favor of Galactica. They do have a lot of ultimates at their disposal to use. They're going to have the Primal Rage in time, so they're going to be able to just batter away Fatty into non-existence eventually. They're still holding on to a little bit of their health, trying to see if they can stay alive. And thankfully going to be able to do so for the time being as Fatty gets rid of Kenku earlier on. And looks like eventually finding a 2k. Going to clean things up eventually, but still 68 meters for Galactica. And all of them should get the good spawns as well. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Womp womp. Well, uh, that's fine. It just means that they'll check it back. They didn't, the Galactica didn't commit too much into that fight, which is good. It means they should be able to swap this over. Elizabeth headed over to the Moira. Yeah, just raw healing. 
Again, Lisbeth has kind of, this is kind of what's the, se we're kind of showing the secret here now. Lisbeth has secretly been the flex support that's been carrying Simp Nation, and now we're just kind of showing those cards so the Galactica know they need to get onto this Moira if they're going to isolate this, and they have to commit those ults. Yeah, we do have the trade coming through, though. Pixie, though, going down is honestly, the, honestly the bigger pick between the two here. Mint was nowhere near that, as Colas is going to come through eventually, looking like it's going to clean things up. See the dive through, through from Redemption, eventually going to force Elizabeth to get out. Goes top left with the rest of their team as the beat's going to come online. They're going to double down to try to win this thing right here. Force to kick you into a corner, but ultimately, that beat going to do nothing but just take them back to the middle ground. But they need to be able to find something to follow up on this. It's looking like it's going to be Kenku with Elizabeth going to follow up. Unfortunately, damage has already been done on the other side. And they're going to double down okay. on this right now. And, and Pope is just fighting their inner demons right now, trying to get rid of Zatarak eventually will be able to do so unfortunately gonna be forced out as ray is back on the scene but this entire fight has been did nothing but just holding on to the ground that they were trying to get back and eventually galactica should be able to stabilize and take this back for their own wow uh, redemption <laughs> please get out of there baby oh. please baby get out it ain't worth it <laughs> um. I mean, the swap, since the swaps have come through, Simp Nation, again, you know, maybe it's playing with their food, but Simp Nation just seems to have just, now they've they've had the time, they're adjusting, and it's coming through. Yeah, 100% is Fatty already going to be down, so even less progress going towards that beat. And so fortunate now for that coalescence being used earlier, not going to be in existence anymore. And this fight might be down to Ray. If you really want to try to win this, Zatarak going to invest the beat this time around. Man somehow ends up going down first and foremost. Lithbeth gets the pressure and eventually goes down as well. 4v4 situation. Rykon still has the pulse bomb Kenku? as well, but looks like they're not gonna need it. Just Kenku getting aggressive on the Moira. As I mean, Poop and Fatty have not really left each other's side like throughout most of this five minutes. No, I mean, keeping the Winston alive in mobile is, is the key to most of this. And now with a uh, attack visor plus a tech plus tech shock, like there is a stun and a kill here, but oh, no. not when Fatty just eats that pulse bomb in the face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very much so. There's no ultimates online for the Galactica quite yet, as they've been winning these fights for the most part, but this cart really hasn't gotten nearly back to the point that they would have desired. See the partial dive up top where Pixie has their own ultimate ready to go. Lisbeth, though, going down once again with Mint getting traded out. Glasgow looking again to take this, but again, we see the same situation where the bot not really moving a whole lot, but it's looking like eventually Galactica going to be able to clean things up. That's boob going to be forced to eventually use their Primal Rage on the point, trying to get rid of Raycon, who is literally 25 health. One hit going to take them out eventually. Submission investing a lot is eventually... Ray's going to go over to the Reaper now. I mean, we just, we're just we trying to bully the Winston, right? We just can't let this Winston exist. And, literally. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense. I, I don't hate it, because the fights aren't really going your way if you're Simp Nation. You're, you're barely winning these, and Galactica is coming back and just giving you just enough of a hassle. You're still behind in mileage, Hunter. You still have so much path Ooh. that you still have so much to make. Yeah, Zatarak going to be able to stay alive, and Kenku going to help eventually get rid of Pixie. Colas is doing a lot for this team so far. Kleena coming through once again. <laughs> hoping to find somebody. <laughs> Not going to be able to, though. As again, glad to get another fight win. As they mean this, I mean, we we thought these last couple maps were weird. This 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 map has just felt extremely weird. Okay. The back and forth. I have I have a theory, Hunter, and I'll I'll say it before we go to break. But I have a theory of what's going on here, and um, <laughs> yeah. So what? I have a theory. I'm gonna hold on to this for the end though. But the Bastion <laughs> Hog, I mean, we're just full what? anti dive right? We're we're just full anti dive now. Like uh, now, because again, we're also on to Baptiste. We're just full anti-dive at this point because we know we're not winning when we get dove. Uh, no, we're barely is... squeaking these out. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this pans out versus the sound barrier because that is a lot of ultimates against Simp Nation right now. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff you pull off in your ranked game once you start really losing. This is, uh, I, f I feel like I'm playing my comp match right now as Pixie. Going to get rid of Mint and Redemption. The others going to be forced to really back out of here as they're going to have the way for that copy deal to work with. The question is, what do you copy in this upcoming fight, legitimately? Um, probably the Reaper or the Hog is my best guess. You might even take the Moira if you really want to try to get like a fast coalescence. But yeah, I mean, it's mint. They're going to find value with whatever they get anyways. And uh, Raycon, again, with Pulse Bomb, just trying to find any target you can. You have to get past Immortality Field. But again, with a Sound Barrier, with this Pulse Bomb, yeah. and with a Duplicate, Galactica should be able to hold this. And two minutes on the clock, oh they my. can still live. God, Redemption got shredded! And now, now Ray going to clean things up eventually. 
Sip Nation going to be able to cap the butt scratch here. No and unfortunately, shot. for Kenku, wow. he's able to get out. And now, th this next fight. So, Venom, this, I mean, this next fight could be the game, legitimately. I don't know what to say to that, Hunter, because I do think saying. that... I know, you're, you're not wrong, because now, I mean, again, Zatara is still holding on a sound barrier, though. So if there's this fight goes long, it does favor them here, but it does not favor getting hooked immediately. Yeah, but the B going to come online. Going to be able to keep them alive for the time being. Pixie going to be deleted, though. So great start. Eventually going to pull Kenku wow. back in, and poor Kenku. Going to get deleted. Zatarak going to be the only healer left alive for their team. Literally sitting on one health. Needs to pretty much play around that corner. Nabi picked off. Literally, Zatarak, you're playing with demons you do not want to be playing with. As they're eventually going for the hook, going to catch onto the gold form, so not going to get anybody. As as eventually Poop's going to be able to hold on to this corner, and here comes the aggression, the spear catching on, but not going to catch on. This double super ultimate being used. Poop is not going to go down anytime soon, trying to get rid of Redemption. Eventually, the healing is going to come online from Kenku, but Satarak going to get deleted. Redemption hoping to find something. It's just getting deleted, pulled back in. Needs to find people off pull. of this, but Poop is going to get rid of them. Raycon needs to come alive to some extent. This fight's still somehow going, but Poob on the Roadhog eventually gonna pay it off, and it's looking like they are going to take the lead now. Oh. Yep, yeah, and uh, yeah, Poob, yeah, has yeah. Been, Poob has been a, a tour de force on wow. this hog. Just, I really want to see that hook hit percentage because it's very high. Uh, well, with now the lead in hand and now the Soldier 76 back on the field, we are a high sustained Simp Nation comp. They know they need to win one more fight and they've been tracking. There is no ultimates on board. Mint has the closest with Rails. So Mint needs to show up as the hero and can't af cannot afford to be the first pick here. Yeah, it's going to be th whole three fights are going to end up really needing to kind of take this thing as the Vegas get forced round and they're going to go play back in that corner where they had won the, for the fight previously. Going to force them right there, but they're not going to have anything to really work with this Latka. Coming up with this overclock. Going to use it to start things up here. Someone needs to open up this corner so that Mint is not the target number one. They need to really open this up. Ooh. Trying to get rid of Fatty. They're getting caught. And Mint, unfortunately, going to be pulled back in. The trade coming through. Glad for Gladzka does have the ability to kind of play around this little corner as well. As the beat going to come online, Zadarek able to get this one off now. As there is still the ability for more investment from Glatzka, who have three ultimates, going to send them in, don't need anything more, but are still going to invest more as well. As Ray manages to find one, needs to find a second to really get any real value off of this, and eventually, looking like Glatzka will be able to clean this up. Last person, Lesbeth, on the point. But that Lesbeth install is going to give everybody the potential to get back to the advanced spawns, so Glatzka still have a lot of work in front of them. This is at least two fights worth of ahead, and Pixie back on the venture, so, uh, and the Soldier 76 coming back in. Yeah, now we're just trying to go for combos and burst damage. Uh, Mint did pick up Sombra as well, so again, just speed here. This is at least a two-fight win if Galactico yes. wins this, and Poob is holding on to a whole hog. Uh, there's nothing really in the way to stop it, and Poob has been a menace on this hog, so this could be a huge value right here. Yeah, eventually getting hacked away, forced around into a corner. It's still going to have some big ultimates to be able to use, but already forced away into a corner. Get taken majorly out of the fight. Ends up pulling out the whole hog, but Rickon's already going to go down. Nothing to work with, and eventually Redemption can be pushed away into a corner. Deleted from this world! Also deleting the chances of Galacta to find themselves in the upper area of those grand finals. Going to be sent down to the lower finals as Sip Nation will be able to win and move on to the grand finals. As foretold by the desk, it was a 3-1. So uh, Sip yes. Nation really giving us the match we wanted to see. And I mean, say wow. what you will about it all, but uh, Mint absolutely showed their worth throughout this whole series between the Echo, between the Sojourn play. This is an incredible player on an incredible team. And, yes. uh, you know, Sim Nation managed to kind of tame them in a lot of ways, really kept Mint uh, just uh, in a lock a lot of ways. When Mint was not kept in lock, Galactico looked phenomenal. They knew and they recognized what they needed to do to carry and who their non-tank carry was. So it was a great read, but Sim Nation just, I don't know, Sim Nation just decided to win, Hunter. I don't really know what yeah. to say to that. Uh, I I have I have feelings they were maybe trying to look and maybe trying to get themselves into one of them uh, leg day low light segments, oh but uh, either either way, I do commend it. Like we wanted to see them adapt. We wanted to see what this team, what made this team the number one team, right? We wanted to see them do oh. that. And it's moments like these hog hooks. I mean, those are just great one shot combos. It's the it's the decisions to make to adapt this team. It's decisions. You wanted to see someone go off meta. Yeah, Simp Nation's your boys. They got them. Yeah.
I mean, 100%. Still have to give some level of credit to for Galactica. This is definitely a closer engagement that we really had last time. I think Sir Voss is the only real situation where we kind of look at it. It's like, yeah, there was there felt like no real shot there as we look at the stat comparison. And uh, God, Pooh coming away with 14.5k damage as well, getting 26 eliminations. But still, you kind of look over here. You know, at the side of Galactica, there's a lot of picks overall. Remember, they were winning a majority yeah. of that map. It was just those last couple of minutes where it was really picked up with that composition between the whole, between the the Roadhog, between the Bastion, the Reaper. It, it's yeah. just so much damage to to overcome. It is. It's a lot of burst and a lot of high sustain. But there were moments where they did. I mean, the fact that uh, Raycon. 31 and 4 tells you how involved they were with everything and that's what you need from your tracer it just wasn't the time for the tracer to shine it was time for mint to clean up and you know it was lower numbers but you can see it i mean mint uh, mint has 10 deaths let's let's talk about this for a minute yes. that's the most important stat Mint has 10 deaths that tells me that sim nation knew we cannot let this player exist in the server if we do not stop mint from doing anything they will carry the game and that was the focus. You can see it. They let Raycon just kind of do whatever. They didn't stop paying attention to Redemption when they realized Mint is here and Mint is the threat. And that is the team, that is the read you need to have for a season winning team. I mean, yeah, 100%. They realized who the threat was. You go ahead and shut them down. And, and sometimes for a team here like Sip Nation, it is that easy to just make that decision of, okay, this person no longer gets to play the game, have yeah. fun and everybody else yeah i mean it's the adaptation I, I say this in a lot of retrospects not just because not just overwatch not even just esports sports yeah. in general just adaptation is one of the best tools that you could possibly have here and while you, as i made the comment of you know this yeah. feels like i'm playing a comp game and i just saw a team full swap over i mean that's what if that's what works that's what works we're no longer in a situation of you know we could test things out you know very heavily and do these random things here in the regular season this is this was the upper finals it's a really important game because now Galactica is going to have to win another one to have the rematch. So there's a lot of pressure back on them, but now especially this perhaps weight lifted off the back of Sip Nation who probably feel more confident than ever before. I, I think the desk was on to something. I mean, this is CGL royalty yeah. in a lot of ways. These are longtime players. This weight has never been there. They know how to play under these high-pressure <laughs> situations. Yeah, their last win was like Season 7 forever ago, but you don't forget and you don't just lose that. It's like, fall it's like riding a very wobbly uh, bike that once had six wheels and now has five. You still remember how to ride it. Maybe it just takes a minute or two to kind of get it all figured out and going. So, I mean, surely someone on the desk has got the better answer than that because my bike analogy was just garbage, so... <laughs> somebody's got a better answer than that well luckily our desk cab is we're going to be able to send it over to them to break down the ashing here in this upper final matchup as we uh wow that's, i should have uh gone through with this so we're gonna send this one over to the desk to break down all the action for you <laughs> uh, i don't know about bicycle analogies but uh I mean, the situation certainly came out as a well-oiled machine. I mean, it didn't look so good after map one, y'all. Like, we were, were we at all worried uh, that Sedition was going to turn this around after losing Nepal? Do you want to start, Billy, or do you... <laughs> the troll circus was definitely in full effect here today for Simp Nation. And they got their butts handed to them on map one. Let's be completely honest with, uh, with each other here. So, I mean, look... I did not get the perfect prediction today. Y'all took the took the cake in that, but um, I, I still stand by. Sip Nation is the team to beat, and they proved it here. They proved it by off rolling as well. We'll just see uh, if they can continue to roll on the same vein that they're on right now. I mean, it's the the Arcasters kind of touched on it, and particularly in map one, Mint was a star set an X factor here, and a big reason Galactical won. What, what were your thoughts after this, Nepal? Right? Yeah, I mean, I was very impressed with the teamwork that Galactic showed, and we were kind of talking about that behind the scenes. Where to me, it felt like from player to player, it felt like Simp Nation kind of had a lot of the more pop off, more you know, talent in, in a lot of places, but. Galactica was making that up with just having such clinical dives and clinical rushes in. They just knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it so well. And like, if they can stick to a plan like this, I really think they have a chance going up against Sib Nation. They really proved it with how close a lot of these maps were.
Well, Hero Nakamura is where things really took a turn uh, and started to see a little bit of a, a different shift, or at least started to see a bit more of Sip Nation's plan and their identity and how they were going to play this series. And it reminded me a lot of uh, back when me and Billy would cast Chinese Overwatch, just because it seemed to be a lot more focused on tempo control and constant pressure from Eichenvolta onwards. And then we saw a real clash of styles. So you're talking about that ex excellent teamwork out of Galactica, uh, where, I mean, they seem to... Uh, were very disciplined with their ultimates, had really good combos, like we, you know, that we would expect to see. They seem to do really well on paper. Why, why didn't it work against Sip Nation, Billy? I mean, if we harken back to you know the Volkswagen Beetle of HLXC from Chinese contenders, um, it's all about the cycling. It, you don't want to give up a single meter, and that was something that we used to talk about when we were casting contenders. Is that every single square meter. Of, of, of progress will be contested. It doesn't matter if you're going 2v5, 1v5, 3v5, it doesn't matter. Um, you're trying to pull cooldowns, you're trying to prevent any kind of like solid snowball. That's something that Chinese contenders really taught us. And it's something that, you know, when we watch Kenobi and, uh, and Labosco, especially early uh, Chinese contenders like 2018, that was what they were known for. They were known for crazy comps, Right. And I mean, they understood why they were doing it, but maybe us in the Western audience didn't understand. So we got into it and actually got a chance to learn about the players. What we learned about Simp Nation tonight is that it doesn't matter if you're on your roll tonight or, or not. If you can mechanically play the game, if you could understand that, you know, OK, I got to touch here. I'm going to circle around the side. I'm going to make this, this uh, non-traditional. And that's what Simp Nation thrives on is the non-traditionality of their compositions. I mean, we, you talked about, we were watching the, the app matrix come out and, the, and Bastion was on the flank behind the uh, behind the app matrix and completely caught everybody with their pants down. And that's why they ended up taking the lead there in Esperanza uh, at the very end with like 45 seconds to go. That's what it, that's what the Sip Nation uh, squad does so very well. And like you said, I mean, you and I hit on it at the same time during Eichenwalda it was the fact that uh, it was Chinese contenders almost to a T. I got a touch. Okay, I got this cooldown coming up. Hey, this Bob is ready to go. We got a touch. We can push people around. And it forces, I mean, it almost forced uh, Galactica into pursuing people, which forces the C9 because they could not figure out who to chase and who was going to be the next touch. I mean, it was... An excellent job from Sip Nation of keeping their opponents off balance throughout the entire match in a variety of ways. Uh, before we get in, because I mean, we saw some wacky compositions, and I want to touch on that. We saw some adventure. We saw some Roadhog, and there you saw the clips there at the end. But before we start talking about that, I want to touch on that hold on Eichenwalda, because you brought up that hold at the end of point B. That was such a spectacular stop. And there were so many fights where it felt like Galactica should have, or, you know, went up early in the fights. I was going to say should have won the fight. That seems harsh. That's not what I mean. But when they went up early in the fight, they had an advantage early in the fight, but they weren't able to close out the fights because of this cycling coming through from Simp Nation. And then that that cycling turned into the best stall. And you, you talked about it, Ray, the communication. You could see the communication between how they were doing that. Elaborate more on that. It was such, this, it was such an amazing point you made, and I think it was so cool clutch to how they won this map and turned it on the whole series yeah because it really felt like galactica was going to get that point poob on the ball had an incredible stall where they were just moving around on the wrecking ball making sure they maintained point still could get their adaptive shields out but as soon as the communication came in because pixie came back on venture it was like i'm coming in he dipped went and got the mega on the right side and then came back and was able to retouch and they just kept stalling more and stalling more until all their players got back it was you could just tell that he got the call like i'm i'm touching you can go ahead and leave and he did exactly that got the mega came back and was able to keep it going Oh, and they stopped the car. It was like less than a meter there from point B. Uh, it held that forever. And then that was, we saw basically Venture for the rest of the series coming out. Uh, it led to some wacky compositions. And we even saw the, you know, the Reaper, Bash, and Hog there at the end. I mean, Billy, what was your, what was your favorite wackiness? We got a little Reinhardt today. Uh, we saw some Zarya play today. As far as compositions go, uh, Sim Nation was all over the map. I mean, give me your favorite right off the top of your head. Honestly, I think the Suravasa point A was my favorite. Um, I, I think that they established 
that Pixie can play venture very well, understands more of the advanced tech. You and I do a lot of VOD review. We go and sit in scrims. This reminds me of Ari from uh, from uh, Team Ireland. Oh my God, if you have never watched Ari play, uh, very oh, good adventure player, hippie. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Team uh, Reese's from so, Team Yippie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reese's feces <laughs> is uh, the gamer tag. But if you uh, if you've not watched them, uh, go uh, Irish Wolfhounds. Uh, go check out their Twitch. Um, you'll see some of that play going on. But uh, I, I think that yeah, the Suravasa point A was my favorite look, and they had that coordination. They were looking to pull out the resources, especially when they pulled out that the Absolutely. lamp. Uh, and they were able to like, just like completely close behind. Now, the best combo of the night actually came from Galactica with the Terra Surge and the uh, the Excavation Initiation, the Venture Ultimate. Holy cow, you pull everybody in, everybody is completely like, er, and then you just pound, pound, pound. I mean, it's almost like uh, it's almost like a mini uh, stun, uh, a, a, a meteor, or not a meteor strike. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, Hammer down. Why it's can like I halt. not think of it? Can I see that yeah, face again? Like <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the Reinhardt <laughs> ultimate. It's a shatter. It's an earth shatter. God, why can I not English right now? But I mean, it, it just does so much damage. And the AOE just spreads out and like, it's there. Oh, I thought you were first to the Terra Surge. Yeah. No, well, no, the, the Terra, the terra Surge, surge into, as well. Into. You get that yeah. little bit. So we've seen the Terra Surge start to use. Uh, I mean, Redemption had a phenomenal map. I, we were talking about if they were able to bring this one back, I think Redemption would have been our MVP because Redemption yep. was just doing so well in the tank. But um, they utilize the instant like damage from the Terra Surge because there's a buff that recently came through that you get that really quick instant burst of damage. So you yep. don't have to hold it for very long. And then they're already weakened uh, You to tap them there with the... Uh, excavation yeah beautiful combo beautiful teamwork from galactica today and i mean but now i mean now they have to fight up through the lower bracket now they have to start that training arc uh that we heard so i'm talking <laughs> about if, if it's gonna happen at all uh ray thoughts thoughts on compositions today or galactica going through the lower bracket any of the above what uh so where's your brain just... at after this match so much happened i felt like every map was so different my brain is just Roadhog Go Burr, man. That was <laughs> absolutely insane. Like, I'm just sitting here watching it with you guys, and I'm just like, okay, Roadhog. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe it has something against this Winston. But as, as soon as I saw them swap the wrists, I'm like, surely this won't keep working. Like, you got a lot of tools to deal with a Roadhog between your Javelin and your Javelin spin. But the hooks were just so on point. We're just like, oh, like with some of those hooks that he was hitting and it was just nasty work that we were getting on that Roadhog composition. Well, uh, I guess we're, does that bring up our Prince? I mean, all of our Prince were on point. I feel like we haven't gotten a chance to like, oh, yay, look at us go. So I, I suppose <laughs> we could do that. The entire desk was right. Uh, standby desk. That's what, Hippie, what do we got? Uh, okay. Well, we'll do uh, MVP. MVP is another good thing. Yes. Yes, uh, we can talk about our match MVP. Billy, uh, you put it up in chat. I'll leave it to you. Oh, uh, who do we decide on? Where, where do we fall on our MVP for tonight? Uh, Rhaenyra is going to be our MVP uh, just because they were on their roll uh, for the whole of the night. And also, man, the Cassidy on Eichenvalda was clutch. Uh, the space taking was clutch. The tracking was even better. Uh, and you know what? I got to give some royalty, some 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 jewelry here. I mean, they played with Poob way back in the day. I remember them back from, you know, scrim lobbies back in 2020, 2019, 2018, uh, when I started first playing uh, with Mount Cheese and then with Danny DeFito after that. So, man, uh, Rainier really did put on a fantastic show the entire series. And that's why they are the MVP. Ray, any follow up on that? Yeah, I mean, you brought it up, you know, while we we're talking behind the scenes watching the game. There was a bob they had on Eichenwald's second point oh. to get the touch last second and find like two crucial kills. Like there and the the amount of pressure they kept applying from that high ground, just yeah. even in those four V fives, we just kept seeing them up there on the high ground, just finding a kill to make it a four V four in an even fight. They 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 just were I think I would say they were the most consistent throughout the series. Yes, did we see some very big pop-off moments from Pixie on Saravasa and Poob on the Roadhog on Esperanza? Yeah, but I think 
consistency <laughs> is what really took the cake in this one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I mean, I think Redemption kind of got the better end of Poob for maps two and three, if we're being perfectly yeah. honest. Uh, I mean, the Roadhog was impressive. The stats were impressive at the end of Esperanza, no doubt. But no, uh, you can't argue with the impact Renera had. I mean, it was the most flashy on Ikenvalda, particularly. Like, we saw, there was a 2v5 situation where Renera goes to the top and finds that pick onto the Moira, and that just completely throws off the entire t upcoming attack there uh, from, from Galactica. So, but even on maps three and four, I felt like Renera did such a good job of controlling Ment. Uh, and, and keeping the star player from the other side from really having a big impact. I mean, really both Mint and Rykon uh, struggled to to get their the most effectiveness today. And I think Renero was a big part of that for me personally. There you go. Congrats to Renero MVP. Congrats uh, to Simp Nation for continuing their perfect run. And we'll say Galatska doubled... The, uh, at least has half of the maps taken off of Simp Nation this season uh, is courtesy of Galactica. <laughs> so, you know, I guess there's a little feather in the cap there, but still undefeated. Simp Nation will continue to move on into grand finals and, and await their opponents there on the top of the mountain. But uh, that about does it for us here tonight. Oh, uh, we big shout out once again to Kunoichi and I mean, big congratulations to Head Headrammer for uh, kicking that off and how successful and how wonderful that initiative ha has been. So yes, go watch that uh, over on Twitch, Kunoichi CGL. Absolutely, go check that out, Billy. Please, by all means, pipe in here. Make sure that you get in there because they're uh, got Moxie uh, has a team that she is coaching. Um, I, oh, I, 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 it, I saw that slips me right now. They actually got two zero tonight, but that's okay. Uh, she's making her coaching debut uh, with this uh, calling all high, all calling all heroes minor event. Um, also, Jeff and I not going to be here next week. You should probably be watching NECC next week because we're going to be in Dallas, baby. We're going to be in collegiate. Jeff and Billy get to meet each other, and we get to meet Ray too. Korean to barbecues on the menu. Also, yeah. Hippie, our producer Hippie Hippie's will be there, be there as well. well. Yeah. We are going to be in the building. Sam will be in the building. Uh, yeah, We're I don't know about everybody short. I don't know about promoting insulting. anybody else's stream. <laughs> yeah, you and Hippie are both super tall. I don't know about promoting anybody else's stream, but we are going to be uh, live from uh, the Sports that. Stadium in Arlington, uh, We're uh, in Dallas. So, yeah, it, it, you know, if you're in the area, come by, say hello. We'd love to meet you. Otherwise, yeah, by me. all means, it yeah, will be so the first time me and Billy ever met. Is that's one thing to note is FNO will be taking a week hiatus because of that. So we'll hopefully be able to <laughs> start oh, bringing you guys uh, FNO yeah, once again the gone. week that's after. That's what I was trying to get to is that, yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're all going to be gone next FNO. weekend. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, all uh, of us are going to be gone. <laughs> But with that said, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. Big shout out to our observers behind the scene who we all be had tonight. I didn't even see. Big shout out to... We had Lottie and... and 